Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC. Now, in my last video, I said I got a response time of 2 to 3 milliseconds on a wired connection. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your controller and get zero input delay. Now, to start this video off, this is for everyone that has Bluetooth. If you don't have Bluetooth, there's a link in the description for a Bluetooth adapter. But if you have one picked out, make sure it's 5.0 or higher. Okay, once you have a controller, you want to go to your Bluetooth settings. Then, what you want to do is hold the PS button and the share button together. Once you do that, you'll see a flashing blue light. Then, you want to go to add a device, Bluetooth, and your controller should pop up. What I recommend is that you get a Type-C cable and connect your controller into the wall. This will allow your controller to stay at 100%. Finally, the last step to connect your controller is to go to the link in the description and you'll see this application to connect your controller. What you want to do is download the first link. Now, make sure you don't download any other link. Now, once you have the file downloaded, make sure you put show in folder. Do not put open because you need to extract the files. Now, if you have any extraction app that can extract files, you can use that or you can right click it and just press extract all. Now, once you see the file without the zipper, what you want to do is click on it and then find DS4 Windows. Now, it might say this. All you want to do is put more info and run anyway. Now, this window should pop up and if your controller is connected through Bluetooth, it should connect automatically. Now, your controller might feel wonky at first, what I recommend is that you put your dead zone lower and your anti-dead zone to zero because you technically don't have any stick drift. Next, what I want you guys to do is go to your pull rate and then put it to max. This will give you less input delay as well as putting Xbox 360. Now, after you've done all those things, make sure you put apply, then these items won't activate after that just put save and your controller is set to go now if you're having problems with your touchpad all you have to do is click on touch left touch right and the multi-touch and make sure you set them to back now to do this all you have to do is click on it and then you'll see an xbox controller and you want to put back If you guys made it to the end of the video i want to thank you guys so much i'm not that good at making how-to videos but i hope this video helped you guys out a lot and if you haven't subscribed subscribe you guys blew my last video up and didn't subscribe what's wrong with you guys <laughs> anyways if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the comment section below and leave a like or even share the video thank you